Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Lamentations chapter 1. This is the English Standard Version. How lonely sits the city. How lonely sits the city that was full of people. How like a widow has she become. She who was great among the nations. She who was a princess among the provinces has become a slave. She weeps bitterly in the night with tears on her cheeks. Among all her lovers, she has none to comfort her. All her friends have dealt treacherously with her. They have become her enemies. Judah has gone into exile because of affliction and hard servitude. She dwells now among the nations, but finds no resting place. Her pursuers have all overtaken her in the midst of her distress. The roads to Zion mourn, for none come to the festival. All her gates are desolate. Her priests groan. Her virgins have been afflicted, and she herself suffers bitterly. Her foes have become the head. Her enemies prosper, because the Lord has afflicted her. For the multitude of her transgressions, her children have gone away. Captives before the foe, from the daughter of Zion, all her majesty has departed. Her princes have become like deer that find no pasture. They fled without strength before the pursuer. Jerusalem remembers in the days of her affliction and wandering all the precious things that were hers from days of old when her people fell into the hand of the foe and there was none to help her. Her foes gloated over her. They mocked at her downfall. Jerusalem sinned grievously. Therefore, she became filthy. All who honored her despised her, for they have seen her nakedness. She herself groans and turns her face away. Her, clean, her uncleanness was in her skirts. She took no thought of her future. Therefore, her fall is terrible. She is no comforter. O oh Lord, behold my affliction, for the enemy has triumphed. The enemy has stretched out his hands over all her precious things, for she has seen the nations enter her sanctuary, those whom you forbade to enter your congregation. All her people groan as they search for bread. They trade their treasures for food to revive their strength. Look, O Lord, and see, for I am despised. Is it nothing to you? All you who pass by, look and see. If there is any sorrow like my sorrow, which was brought upon me, which the Lord inflicted on the day of his fierce anger, from on high he sent fire into my bones. He made it descend. He spread a net for my feet. He turned me back. He has left me stunned, faint all the day long. My transgressions were bound into a yoke. By his hand they were fastened together. They were set upon my neck. He caused my strength to fail. The Lord gave me into the hands of those whom I cannot withstand. The Lord rejected all my mighty men in my midst. He summoned an assembly against me to crush my young men. The Lord is trodden as in a winepress, the virgin daughter of Judah. For these things I weep. My eyes flow with tears, for a comforter is far from me. One to revive my spirit. My children are desolate, for the enemy hath prevailed. Zion stretches out her hands, but there is none to comfort her. The Lord has commanded against Jacob that his neighbors should be his foes. Jerusalem has become a filthy thing among them. The Lord is in the right, for I have rebelled against his word. But hear all you peoples and see my suffering. My young women and my young men have gone into captivity. I called to my lovers, but they deceived me. My priests and elders perished in the city while they sought food to revive their strength. Look, O Lord, for I am in distress. My stomach churns. My heart is wrung within me because I have been very rebellious. In the street, the, the sword bereaves. In the house, it is like death. They heard my groaning, yet there is no one to comfort me. All my enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad that you have done it. You have brought the day you announce. Now let them be as I am. Let all their evil doing come before you and deal with them as you have dealt with me because of all my transgressions. For my groans are many and my heart is faint. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.